Okay, so I'm with um, Andy Piper at the uh, November Coventry and Warwickshire Social Media Cafe, still burbling along in the background. Um, we've had a, been our guest speaker today, really interesting. You're from IBM, uh, which is by, by any scale of uh, a big organisation. Um, you started blogging there in 2005? Yeah, about 2005 I started an internal blog at IBM. And, um, and, and, and has it come, how far have you come since then? How far is social well, media I mean, inside? We, we as an organisation started off with our technology adoption programme, having a, having a blog platform for any employee to blog. And it was a really good idea because it was a safe environment behind our firewall where we could learn um, to uh, write, we could learn to use these tools and we could learn to collaborate and socialise uh, with one another. Um, and we learned from one another very quickly. Um, we had a great community and that expanded out and ultimately when, when companies started coming to IBM asking for collaboration platforms including blogs and other technologies and we came out with this Lotus Connections product which we sell today and uh, has been very successful. So. Um, yeah, it's been, it's been fantastic over the last sort of five years. And, and as an individual, I've had a, an external blog and internal blog throughout that period as well. And you use a mixture of tools inside the firewall yep. and external tools. What, any choice between those? I mean, you use Twitter um, and, and obviously blogging outside. But yeah. Any reasons behind those choices? Um, gosh, well, uh, I guess the difference between blogs and Twitter is, is fairly straightforward. I mean, Twitter is very immediate, uh, conversational medium. Blogs are for more... Um, more considered uh, uh, articles, and I think that, that, that holds, that validate, that's, that's actually validated by the fact that, you know, frequently uh, blog posts are pointed to from Twitter uh, and vice versa. So uh, I think the, the two medium are absolutely uh, complementary. We've got lots of IBM people on Twitter. I communicate with lots of my colleagues through Twitter, um, and actually I find it uh, as convenient, in fact, more, much more convenient than email, for example. So, um, I guess in terms of other choices, internal, external, and, and so on, my preference is to share what I know by default, right, and be private behind the firewall when that's appropriate, when that's important, when that's necessary for, say, confidentiality or other reasons. Yeah. And in terms of helping out employees, in terms of um, guidelines, how, how, does, how does IBM play that? So we have um, social computing guidelines, which are, anybody can see them actually, they're on our website, ibm.com, you can go and have a look and see what we say. Um, and so those are guidelines, they're not, they're not strict rules, they're guidelines, they're, they're there to help us, give us a framework to uh, learn how to use these tools in, an, in a responsible manner. So it's all about trust and personal responsibility, and actually that's one of IBM's values, is uh, trust and personal responsibility in, in all relationships. So um, it all fits together uh, from that, that perspective. We also have a program which I didn't speak about today, this is brand new for you Paul, um, called Blue IQ, which is um, a program which enables uh, those of us in a position of knowledge internally to educate others and to help them come on board with these tools. Um, it's, a, it's a constant exercise in education. IBM often makes acquisitions and we need to help other people come and learn about our culture and how we use these tools. Brilliant. Well, we could go on, but uh, this, thanks very much for speaking today. If people want to find out more, um, we've, we're going to put the, the, the presentation up on slide share. If sure. they want to find out more about you and what you do, how do they so, go? So, um, the ways to find out about me, me personally, andypiper.co.uk is my blog and at Andy Piper on Twitter and you'll find links there to uh, my blog to all kinds of other spaces where I have profiles. Two other things I'll just quickly plug. 8bar.co.uk is another blog that I'm involved with which is our IBM Hursley uh, behind the scenes blog if you like and the podcast I am involved with is called Dog Ear Nation. It's a weekly technology podcast. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Thank you.